Hey everyone, my name is Becky, I have Emmy, and this is my Emmy. And this is Dante. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry I'm so pink. Uh, there's not much I can do. This is the only time I can film right now, and the sun is right there, and my curtains are purple. <laughs> so I'm purpley pink today. I'll try and colour correct and editing, but I'm not very good at that bit, so. <sighs> I want to start off with a huge apology for not updating anybody on things that's been happening. I just had to take a break from everything. I haven't been posting on social media. I usually love posting on Instagram and I haven't even done that. I um, have a lot to say. There's a lot that's gone on. Some positive, some... I needed, I think, to take a mental health break and I think I'm gonna have to do that regularly because I'm really struggling with things. I'm self-diagnosed right now because I haven't been to the doctors because with everything going on my brain fog is so bad I keep forgetting, keep forgetting to call up. Um, I get up early and then I get on with things, I don't do things and then I I remember, oh, I got a party to call doctors and I didn't do it. So, are we still losing our home? It's still a possibility. Yeah, it's still a possibility. Um, we're having regular visits from the housing officer person who, I don't know, there's, there's things there that aren't quite right. Uh, on her last visit she said she was going to bring all these people to look around the house and do this, that and the other. And she came on her own and she stayed for like 10 minutes. And in the meantime, up until then, I had this huge build up. I mean, this huge build up. Like, I started suffering what I think is anxiety, like real anxiety. Um, I was having panic attacks over this. I was, you know, because... I think it's having men I don't know walking around my house. I think that was the big thing for me. Um, and so that was extremely stressful. Um, and then sorting out somewhere for Connor to go while they were here. Um, and of course, like none of it transpired. He, he ended up, you know, going for nothing. And she stayed like 10 minutes. It was, I don't know. Uh, we're slowly getting things done and slowly doing bits and pieces. I still have no solution as to how the hell I'm going to do the garden. I got some um, support with different things from different people. I've got more meetings to go and, you know, had some legal advice and stuff like that that I have to get on with. But, mm, there we go. I'm still trying and I'm still fighting and I, I, I'm not going to stop. But I'm not going to lie to you, this has been extremely, extremely difficult. And I don't know, with everything else, you know, there's things, other things that's happened and I can only describe as what happened as some kind of breakdown or something, I don't know because I started having these huge anxiety attack things and it was horrible and it was I can tell you exactly when it was it was early hours of the 20th of June and I broke completely broke I had this huge massive panic attack I was absolutely I've never experienced anything like it in my life and for at least a week after that I'm not gonna go into too much because I don't want to have another trigger warning video um, but things were very bad for me and very bad. Think of the worst bad you can think of, that's bad <laughs> for me mentally. I, I think the worst thing is that for me I've always, I've always fought to stay here and whatever for my kids, like I've never wanted to leave them or anything and this time around my brain was telling me the most awful things like your children don't want you they don't want you in your life you know all these things it was like my brain was taking away my reason for living 
and I'm at the point now where, and I, I know I do have to go to the doctors, I know, I know, but I know. Um, I'm having like these major, I'm either really super happy and everything's good, or I am rock bottom, I don't think I can carry on anymore bad. Like I, I mean my brain's telling me things that, these are horrible things and oh, I don't know, I don't know, it's not good, it's not good. Uh, but we are slowly trying to get things sorted, I'm slowly managing to get through to my boy that things, he needs to, you know, sort things and do things and I've got so many other stuff going on and oh it's been crazy but and it's still going to be crazy so I don't know when I'll next post but I'm going to try and keep it going. One positive thing um, is that I have been living a little healthier in a way. Um, I have lost weight which has been great. Um, hoping that I can carry on losing weight because I've got a lot to go. <laughs> I've um, been drinking a lot more well, really, just water. I, I used to drink like loads of fizzy pop. I didn't think I would ever not drink fizzy pop because that's all I wanted to drink. That's all I could really drink. So, fizzy pop was like, okay, I enjoy fizzy pop. I'll just drink this. And I just sip it throughout the day. Well, now I'm drinking a lot more water and I feel better. My skin feels a lot better as well. Losing weight is, is, is a good thing. I really, that's what I want to do. I'm I'm determined I've made some changes to my diet, trying to eat at least twice a day, <laughs> that doesn't always work, but I'm trying to eat twice a day and I've cut out so many things that I was having before. Oh, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's commented and messaged me. It, it has meant the absolute world to me to know that there are people out there, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, <laughs> oh no, don't cry. <laughs> that there are people out there who don't have never met me and yet are being so supportive and so loving and caring towards me and kind and you know I've had some wonderful people message me I'll be forever grateful for that I just want to say a huge thank you I kind of cut myself off from the world um, for a while and I keep having these times where I these dips I have where I'm really, really, really depressed, like really down, where I hide from everybody. Like, I barely speak to my son, and we live together. I barely speak to him. I won't answer text messages. I don't, you know, it's, it, it, it's crazy. I have to answer phone calls at the moment because I've got so much going on with all this housing stuff, so, that I have to do but I don't want to, I don't want to, it's just, it's being a real struggle and I'm, I don't know, I might become, I don't know, I have had a huge moment where I'm not sure if YouTube is the right place for me, I don't know, I feel that I'm more constantly putting out bad things like all these bad things are happening and nothing really much positive I don't know I guess I should have expected that with this illness <laughs> but I don't know if that's a good thing or not or whether I'm doing the right thing I don't know I don't know I was I've I mean I've heard it before but I was watching somebody's um video the other day and they were saying well you know you, you you people only go on youtube because they want to be famous people only make videos on youtube because they want people to know them or whatever and they want to be recognized and stuff like that and i was thinking to myself that's not what i want should i even be doing any of this am i in did I make a mistake starting this? I don't know. I I haven't done this for, you know, notoriety. I haven't done this for fame or, or anything like that. Like, I 
don't expect to get many subs the amount of subscribers I have right now for me is like wow I didn't think anybody <laughs> would subscribe to me so the fact that you know not, it, it, compared to some of these other youtubers it, it you know I'm, I'm nothing but that's fine for me I have some of the most wonderful people who who follow me and watch me and comment and it that's I'm happy with that I'm happy with that I don't think everybody does go on YouTube to be famous I came on YouTube because I was sick and I wanted to meet other people and I wanted to create like an environment where we could come together and support each other and, and then I met all these amazing people and all these other channels who've got chronic illnesses too and they don't want fame and all this stuff either I don't think a lot of them I can't think of anybody who I would say really wants fame and stuff we all have our different reasons for wanting to come on YouTube and make videos and mine certainly was not to be famous so I think I I'm second guessing myself as to whether I'm right for YouTube whether I should be on YouTube so I need to work on my way of thinking I need to work on myself and not take things so seriously I think that's like this YouTube I mean obviously there's things I have to take seriously I'm about you know I could possibly be losing my house I'm in a shit ton of debt and <laughs> you know I there's a lot I have to take seriously but for YouTube I I think I need to just chill a bit I think I put pressure on myself because I mean yeah there are videos that I put out there that I would like people to see such as the um sneak peek into a bad day um I, I put that out because I did want it to be seen I'll try and put it up here wherever it is I but apart from that it I don't know, I'm not bothered about numbers I'm not bothered about getting monetized you know, this isn't a job for me for me it's not a pathway to a career or to make millions or to be famous or all of this stuff for me it's just about connecting and getting in touch with other people and you know building up that communication that community and being <sighs> there's not enough understanding about Emmy and so those of us that have it need to support one another I'm waffling way too much so I'm going to go <laughs> I'm gonna go and I I have some video ideas that I might be doing I we'll see we'll see how things go but um, thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking by me and thank you for all your love and well wishes and, and comments and advice as well I've had some amazing advice and it means the absolute world to me um, hopefully I replied to everybody if I missed anyone I'm so 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 sorry um, I try to reply to everybody even when I don't want to talk to anybody it may take me a couple days to reply but I, I will but anyway um, oh I have snapchat now I have no idea what I'm doing on snapchat but I have it for some reason so I might use that <laughs> uh, it's the same as Instagram which is Miami and Fibro so thank you so much for being here and it's been wonderful to talk to you it really has and hopefully I won't leave it so long next time and hopefully things will get more positive as I go along and things will change for the better I hope so thank you so much for being here and find me on my social medias which are down below and I hope you have a comfortable night bye thank you